Hey guys, Matt here with MTG Owners. Today we're going to open a Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set boosters. I pre ordered this from my local game store, just like you should. Support your local game store, it means a lot to them. Uh, as far as I know, every single one that's ever been in existence struggles and goes out of business eventually. So, uh, yeah, just throwing that out there. I've never seen it not happen. Have you? Uh, okay, me neither. All right, so yeah, just uh, do that. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so uh, very nice. I I did get a promo card with this that I already traded away. It was the uh, Swift Foot, but not Swift Foot boots, the Trailblazers boots thing, which was very cool. You have to look it up though. I don't have it to show. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we get a box topper. I don't think I'm gonna wait. Pop that right open. It's got a little pull tab. It's specially designed to ding your card on the corner. Ooh, I wish they wouldn't do that. I swear, some of these companies, they just don't think this stuff through, it seems like. I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'm going to try not to complain. You guys don't like it when I complain. All right, we got uh, Castle Ardenvale. Hey, that's not a bad one. At least it's somewhat playable. Medusel Golden Hall of a... Wow, it's a mouthful. All right, I'm not going to say all that. All right. Well, it could have been better. could have been worse, probably. Hoping for an ancient tomb or something, but, you know. All right. I don't know what to think of this set, honestly. It's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a little crazy. It's been somewhat good, somewhat bad. There's definitely bombs in here. There's definitely duds. A little of, okay. We got an old portal card. Exhaustion. Skip on tabbing. All right. Wait, am I opening these backwards? No, I just have them. I, I wish they would just decide. They're always flipping the order of these, you know? So you never know, except for each set. Okay, draw a card. Whenever you scribe, you control an island. You may exile this thing from your yard. Draw a card. Okay, and a couple little card draw shenanigans foil. All right, and there's our, our rare Fall of Guild Galad. And we got Legolas. Nice. He's just an uncommon, but we got the special art, so that's cool. We got the Mouth of Saruman uncommon. Um, Ugluck of the White Hand. Another uncommon. Just very flavorful and interesting set. At least that's what I think. Gore Bag. Uh, draw a card. Whenever an Oregon Control deals common damage to a player, you may sack it to draw a card or create a treasure. Not bad. 2-2 two, two for 2. Boy, how the power creep has grown. What is this? Borrow Blade? We're just getting tons of uncommons. Okay, so we're figuring out, you know, this is the first set booster I've opened, kind of figuring out the order. Uh, block, Swords, Block, that creature loses all abilities. Okay, well, that's kind of cool. Just another uncommon. Frodo of Baggins. What? That doesn't look like Frodo at all. Are you sure that's Frodo? That's not Frodo. That's more like Bilbo. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, just, just an observation. Huh, alright. Um, yeah, as long as he's, he must be blocked if able if he's your ring bearer. Yeah, you don't want him to get into Mount, Mount Doom. Okay, some commons. Alright, and a swamp. Wait, did we even get a... Oh, okay, we got Fall. This Fall card. Uh, I don't know what to think of this. Until the end turn target creature. Control, when it dies, draw two cards, and it fights. All right. So you just kind of make something. All right. So I guess I'm going to organize a little bit. Uncommons, commons. Nice foil swamp. That's cool. Put that with the foils. Art card. I don't know. What do I do with these art cards? Trash can? I don't know. Can anybody keep these art cards? Okay. So now we got a little feel for the first pack. Uh, so we know what they're going to... Kind of flow like here, sort of. I don't who, who really knows. Okay, we'll go a little faster now. Then, token. Did I not get a token in the first one? Whatever. All right. Chance met elves. A little common foil. Elrond. Nice. Four 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 four. Whenever you scry, put a plus one plus one counter on each of the X where X is number of cards looked at while scrying. All right, just a little plus one, plus one shenanigans. Whenever creature control becomes t with a counter becomes a target of ability to opponent controls, you may draw a card. Yeah, there's a little value there. Now oh, we got Mythic uh, from the Commander's stuff here. 
What is that? Gladriel? Elven Queen. That's a lot of work, man. I can't read all these. What is the font? Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna speed through a little bit. Gollum, Patient Plotter. It's a little Samwise. The Soul Hearted. All right. Uh, nothing else too special there. Not possible to pull the one ring out of these, so... I'm just going to go a little faster. All right, I'm, I know I say that a lot, but... Then I get stuck reading a card, or wondering what something is. Analyzing it further. All right, we got an Uncommon here, Voracious Fell Beast. And we got Fanghorde Tree Shepherd. Nice. It gives your tree folks vigilance. 410... Whenever you attack with tree folk, add that much mana twice. That much mana, you don't lose green mana. Okay, cool. That's that's cool. Uh, Gothmog, more gold loot in it. Something about uh, masking orcs. Orcs tokens you control with death touch. Okay, nice little token lord. All right, what else we got? We got uncommon Gandalf. It's so weird to me that you can have like. I don't know, if there are 14 different Gandalfs, you can have 14 different Gandalfs. So I guess that actually makes sense for Gandalf, since there's Gandalf the Grey, Gandalf the White, whatever, you know. But some of them, well, they, they shouldn't be able to exist at the same time, though, right? I don't know. No one cares, though. I, I'm guessing everyone's just like, whatever. Whatever, Matt. You're not bending the rules with your little MTG ownage videos. Stick to the rules, man. Yeah, we all have our preferences. It's It's normal. That's that's what debate's for. Ooh, Call of the Ring. I actually like that card. Uh, pretty decent card. Little card draw, pay life card draw shenanigans. Not bad. I think it's one of the cards worth over a dollar. Oddly enough, because I kind of scanned through the most valuable ones. and That one was like two bucks or something. I don't remember. Aowen, Fearless Knight. ETB, Exile Creature. Uh, target opponent controls with greater power. Wait, am I reading this right? Legendary creatures gain protection from each of that creature's colors until the end of the turn. Oh, that's a permanent exile, too. That actually seems decent, especially if you're flickered a bunch. Oh, flicker Aowen. Um, those are still just rares, though. Knights, whenever you draw a card, put some counters on this thing. All right, long list of the ends. <laughs> No to cr okay, that's too long for me to read right now, but that's interesting. Limbaz and more of these cool lands. All right, well, I don't think we've had any big hits yet. You probably know what the big hits are. I'll point them out as they come if they come. Ring tempts you. There you go. If you guys don't know what it does, you can pause there and then you can pause there. You're welcome. All right. Protector of Gondor. Wait, three, three, four, four, ETB, get a soldier. Okay, cool. Oh, we got uh, Audrill, Flame of the West. I thought this was all right. Uh, Creature Little Spirits, kind of a, you know, standard sword uh, cost and equip, but no protections, just some creature generation stuff, which uh, I think is all right. And that is a mythic. And we got Samwise, the soul harder than the special. Frame, very cool. Saruman's Trickery. Counter spell, a mass or say that's not bad. Uh yeah, the counters that generate creatures can be pretty solid for some of those control decks. Um Grishna, Brash, Instigator, Wall of Text. Alright. It's interesting trying to read these on camera because you know normally you just look at the cards, but right now I'm looking at the cards through the camera. Uh, because if I don't, I end up over here reading them and you guys are like, what the heck? We can't read them. So this keeps me on track. Oh, uh, a little signed card there. Oh, I guess I'll... I try to save the signed ones. I don't know why. I think because the collectors are going to collect them, you know? You're going to collect the signed ones, not these... Probably not these basic ones. All right, what's that? Just a Let's Play card or something? Winchester Draft. Oh, I remember doing these back in the day. I haven't done anything like that in a long time. People used to hang out at game stores and get bored. They'd be like, do a little Winchester draft or whatever it was there was some draft game you could play i'm not going to get into all of it whatever uh horizon witness some of you will know what i'm talking about gold goldberry river daughter 
Is that a mythic? Yeah, it's, I just can't tell. No, it's not a mythic. It's a, it's a nymph. All right, cool. Oh, there's a Nazgul. These Nazguls are kind of hot right now, from what I understand, especially the ones in these high 300 numbers, I think. I'm not sure. Some of these arts are more valuable than the others, but I'm going to set the Nazguls aside, see if we can get close to nine of them. Pippin's Bravery. Entish Restoration. Quick Beam. Another one of these Witness Bird Noble things. All right. Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, this is a decent card. Not worth anything. Okay, this card, this should be a mythic. I don't know what the heck Wizards was thinking printing this in a common slot, but this is like a $1 common. As you can see, when you generate and sack treasures, you win the game, basically, and it's a co common. What? I, I don't understand what Wizards of the Coast is thinking some of these days. I, it really blows my mind that they design the way they do. But whatever. I, every Magic player says that. I think part of it is just keeping the game interesting. But really common at least make it uncommon rare this belongs in a mythic slot and commander this basically says when this hits the battlefield and you're ready you win the game and it's a common it's kind of blows my mind all right Ooh, a nice little foil frodo uncommon what's happening there is that mount doom lava stuff whatever okay cool all right we've got some legendary land baradur you like my accent? A mass axe, actually, only if creature die. Okay, that's not actually bad. That could potentially be some big stuff later. When, and you know how mono black is. You can generate tons of mana sometimes. Kind of like that. That's cool. Uh, another one of these fell beasts. Oh, those are just uncommon. All right. Stern Scolding. Uh, a lot of a lot of talk about this card. People seem to like it. Kind of cool. I think it's a, another one of those $1 commons. Maybe I'll set those aside. I'll go through this later. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to waste your guys' time. As if you're not wasting your time watching YouTube, right? <laughs> Don't unsubscribe. Alright, um... Let's see. It's funny, um... That brings me to another rant that I shouldn't get into, and I'm going to anyway. People, you know, you ever played online games and people say stuff like, Don't waste my time? Like, that's all you're doing when you're playing games, is wasting time. It's to doesn't matter if people troll you or don't troll you. It's a waste of time. All right. Well, that's just an opinion. Can belong an additional creature for each equipment attached. Okay. That's uh, another list card. She loves ambush. Oh, uh, who's that? Frodo? Frodo looks so weird in this art. I am not going to be able to get over that. It's weird to me. War of the Last Alliance. Uh, okay. It does stuff. Whatever. Uh, oh. Nice little mythic common. I'm just going to call this uh, mythic bats. Let's see if I can get it to focus. He wants to look, stop looking at the War of the Last Alliance camera. All right. Well, it's a it's a special art, overpriced, uncommon. That's way too good for the printing. You cannot pass. There's no winning in these. Uh, how do people do this? How do people get this to focus? Maybe I'll just go down here. All right. Uh, lost to the legend, put a non-land historic fourth from the top, instant, that's not bad. Uh, Grimma Wormtongue, does he actually look like his? Yeah, your opponents can't gain life, okay, that's kind of cool. Sack a creature, if it was a legendary, mass two works. Nice, 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 nice. All right, foil land there. All right, we shall continue. We shall pass. I just threw that pack, scattered it across the place. Hopefully it's not some some bomb. Just dinged up a mythic. No, I'm kidding. I think it's fine. Uh, so far, we have not really pulled anything worthwhile, I think. What is this? Aomar Marsh? These names. You know, people already mispronounce every name in Magic. Um, this set's not not helping. The E with the accent, Aomar? I don't know. And Lord of the Front Rings fans are going to lose their minds if people mispronouncing this stuff. I don't know what this guy does. He's a haste, 4-4 four, four, for 4. Uh, whenever one or more attacking legendary creatures you control die. Untap all creatures you control. Another combat phase triggers only once. 
Yeah, what if, you know, what if you made a commander deck that just put every extra combat phase mechanic in it possible? How funny would that be? I want to do that. All right, Foray of Orcs, Gate, or Grand of the Gate Breaker vehicle. Goblin Fire Leaper. All right, a bunch of other stuff. Not super important. Ooh, the Shire. Planes. Another stern scolding. All right. Cool. Curious to see how many Merkwood bats we get. Can we pay for a box just with the number of Merkwood bats we get? Because it is a common. You could pull like, well, probably not going to pull more than four or so, I would imagine. But it's uh, it's up there. It's up there in price. Second breakfast. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad they printed a card called this. You know, I guess they have to. Good old second break breakfast. Okay, one ring to rule them all. I think this is a card actually above a dollar as well in the set. Kind of cool. Many pairings. Uh, Perkinbrand. Prince M something. Strider. Ranger of North. My goodness. Okay, I, I'm a little overwhelmed. I guess this is what happens when you don't uh, pay attention to the previews and the spoilers. So when you finally open stuff, you have so many things to read, right? Mary Doc Brady book. I think I said that half right. Halflings, you control, attack a player, create a food. Oh, nice little food shenanigans. You know, this is the set to do the food shenanigans. All right. Aragorn, company leader. Okay, that's cool. That's a good card. Pretty strong card. Assault on something lath. And that was some full art prints, fire inspiration. Cool. I haven't seen any reprieves yet. That's another kind of big uncommon. I think it's worth a couple bucks or something. Uh, we're bound to get at least one. All right. Here's Grim Nash foil. Gandalf the Gray. He is blue and red. I don't know how you get gray out of that, but you do. Okay, he's got a whole wall of text about casting instants and sorceries. You get to do stuff that hasn't been choosing, such as three damage to each opponent, tap or untap, copy an instant spell, or put him on top of your library so you can do it again later. Cool. Uh, another Samwise. If I remember correctly, this card was actually decent. I haven't fully read it, though. ETB, choose up one permanent in your graveyard. That was put there this turn, return it to your hand. Okay, and he's a 2-2 two, two for 2 flash, and he tempts you with the ring. Very cool. Uh, Gothmog, Golem's Bite, Gandalf Sanction. All right. Yep, just all commons and commons. We will go through those later when I put these cards. It always takes a lot longer than I think it does to go through these packs. I always feel like, oh, I can do this in 5-10 minutes. Then I look at the video, and now I'm already at 18 minutes. Kind of crazy. All right. Took Reaper. Wow. Uh, the ring goes south. All right. That's something. Celebraton. Uh, Stone of Erech. I think that's how you say it. The Bath Song. A lot of new options for us uh, commander players and stuff. I, know this, I don't know if these are making too big of waves in other formats. I know the Orcish Bowmasters is big and like Legacy and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Ooh, foil Stern Scolding. That's neat. It's probably a good, good hit. File of Galadriel. I didn't see this on the list of good cards, so it's probably a bulk rare but we shall read it anyway if you would draw a card we have no cards in hand draw two okay that's not super great you usually have cards in your hand if you gain life if you have five or less life gain twice that much life instead and attach your mana okay it's just a nice mana rock with some life gain potential draw shenanigans a little upside uh i don't know if that's good though hey, look i'm sorry about the focus there's nothing i could do i've tried every, every camera i try has this problem i think what it is is just focusing on the background and uh I'll try to adjust. Peregrine Took, Old Man Willow, The Grey Havens, Glor Fendel, Erwin, More Legendary Orcs, Chance Meet Elves, Random Mountain. 
haven't really been separating these out correctly. Whatever, I'll do it later. Alright, Hordling Dragon. Oh, this is old. This is uh, another list card. ETB, search for an artifact, exile, shuffle your library. When it dies, put it in your hand. Alright. That's, uh, I guess, half decent. Oh, nice foil Merkwood bats. Nice. We're getting, like, every variety down here. All right, we got Samwise. I think this is the good one. Uh, I think I noticed that this one was really pricey on MTGO, so I think a lot of people were putting this on their little online decks for some format. Not sure what. Haven't seen it yet, but uh, apparently holding a little value. Another full art Merkwood bats. That's crazy. All right. Imagine making a bunch of copies of those and then doing your treasure shenanigans. Rise of the Witch King, I'll just in comments. Mirror, Legolas. Does this actually look like Orlando Bloom? No, it just looks like Blur. All right. Well, let's keep her rolling. Let's see if we get any other uh, good hits here. Reign of Daggers. That's a list card there. Uplux of the White Hand. The One Ring. There we go. That's, that's a hit. That's our third Mythic. Very cool. I think that's huge right now. I'm sure it'll tank soon. I, I haven't really read this thing properly. I mean, I have a few times, but I forget what it said. Indestructible. ETB if you cast it. Protection from everything until your next turn. Okay, almost like a Teferi's Protection, except slightly different. Just uh, actual protection, and your life can change. All right, uh, put a burden counter on the one ring. Oh, wait, at the beginning of each upkeep, lose life, put a burden counter. Tap, put a burden counter on it. Draw a card for each burden counter on it. All right, yep, so it's going to ping in your upkeep, but you can get some card draw, some temptation, protection. All right, I don't know how I feel about that. It's definitely good late game in those commander games when it's like the game's going to end within a round or two. And you play and get protection and maybe draw a few cards. Definitely good in those cases. All right, what else we got? We got Gandalf, Friend of the Shire, another Gandalf. Friendly Rivalry, uh, Gimli. Did Gimli get a Mythic? He needs a Mythic. Uh, Rising of the Day, Creatures you Control of Haste. Legendary Creatures get plus one plus one. Better Fervor, that's pretty cool. Uh, Spearmaster and a uh, bunch of commons. And uh, Fall Swamp. Okay, the Orc Army. Uh, another Aon Fearless Knight. That's cool. We got Saruman of Many Colors. That's uh, I don't know if that's a hit or not, but seems pretty good. Oh yeah, uh, pretty nice ward. Cost really, really hard to target this guy. I don't know if you can read it, but uh, he's a five four for uh, six. Ward discard an enchantment, instant or sorcery. Well, that's interesting. That's yeah, that's a. Strong ward. That's almost hexproof. Almost total hexproof. Alright, uh, when you cast your second spell each turn, each opponent mills two cards. When one or more cards are milled this way, exile enchantment, instant or sorcery with lesser mana value than the spell your than the, that spell from your opponent's graveyard, you may copy it and or copy it and uh, cast it without playing spending cost. Okay. Some copy shenanigans on those cards. That, that's not bad. A little niche, but uh, oh, there's Shadow Facts. Cool. Horse Players Unite gets your horse's haste. That's cool. All right. Bill Finney. There's all these characters I did not know about. What are they from? Like this Simulacrum or whatever that book was. Maybe. I don't know. I think they just left some of it. Like Tom Bombadil. He's in the set, but he was completely left out of the movies. He was in the book, though. Another lashing. A little double up there. All right. That one's foil, though. Okay, there and back again. I like this card. I think it's all right. Pretty decent rare. Gets you Smaug. And uh, we got a bunch of Uncommons, Theoden, Bill the Pony. Yeah, all right. Let's pile those in somewhere. Oh, I'm putting stuff. All right. Few more to go here. Few more to go. Ooh, Rivendell foil. That's kind of cool. I thought this card was decent when I read it. It's uh oh, it's just a scry two. 
comes in tapped if you don't have a legend. It's blue land. Not too bad. There is really nothing I can do about this blur, is there? I wish there was. Oh, okay. I just got to tap the card on the screen. All right. Lotho. Oh, this is a good one, too. This is a decent hit. Uh, I thought this guy was all right. Uh, just kind of little stacks on the table that drains your opponent, creates your treasures over time. Uh, tend to love those in group games and stuff. Butter Burr, Bree Innkeeper. All right. A bunch more commons, uncommons, and cool land. Oh no, oh no. The stack's getting too big. We only got one Nazgul, but lots of Mirkwood bats. Oh, that's another. Uh, Signed one. I'll put that with the foils. Kind of count those as foils. All right. Well, we did get the one ring already, so that kind of makes this box at least half decent. But still, I've gotten hosed, I think, overall. And um, value-wise, anyways. We'll see, I guess. Mine's Amoria. That's a cool one to get. Not too shabby. I don't know if this one's that great. So I feel like if you're pumping four mana into a land... Create two treasures, like, I don't know, just feels a little meh, but it's something, it might be better than a mountain in some cases, troll, alright, nothing super great, Ooh, only, uh, only four mythic so far, oh, a little cavern harpy, this card has some loops that do some crazy infinite stuff and win games, and I think a legacy deck that does it. Or what is it? It's a learn. Is it the learn deck that uses this? I don't. I don't remember exactly. Maybe. I don't know. There's Pippin. Cool. Elrond, Master of Healing. Nasty end. Nasty. Uh, I feel like you gotta say nasty in that way, right? Nasty. Whatever. More cards. All right. We're down to the last stack. I guess. Uh, we're potentially having a good box. I don't really know, actually. I don't really know. I feel like it's not quite a good box, but if this last stack is really good, we'll have a good box for sure. Shire Sheriff. Radagast. <sighs> this just feels like another Beast Whisperer that's not quite as good as Beast Whisperer. I don't see it. It is a 2-5, though. I don't know. He's cool. We'll see. I just read him, and I was a little underwhelmed. He basically... Get you look at your top cards and you get a creature you don't have yet, a creature type or something like that. So it seemed a little iffy because it can whiff. Another Mirkwood. Another Bats. We're counting the Bats. Okay, we've already got, I don't know how much the foil and full art are worth, are worth, but we'll say a little more. So we potentially got like $10 in, in these common Bats. So <laughs> take that for what it is. Am I going to sell them? I don't know. Is it worth selling them? I don't know. Maybe I'll trade him if people want him. All right, Dolmen Gate. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to you by attacking creatures. Wait, what? Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. Oh, that's uh, that's quite good. I think that's actually a hit as far as uh, the list goes. Basically, your blocker, or your attackers don't take damage back. Yeah, that's, that's solid. I feel like I read that before and just never got it for some reason. Or never purchased it or whatever. I don't have that card. It's the first time owning the Dolman Gate. I might put it in something. All right. Uh, press the enemy. Return target spell or non-land permanent. Opponent controls to its owner's hand. You may cast an instant or sorcery with lesser value from your hand without paying some mana cost. All right. That's a, a decent little counter spell. There's a Nazgul. What, 334? I feel this might be one of the, the more expensive Nazguls. Some of these are like eight or nine bucks, I think, right now. Who knows if that price is going to hold, but... I think this might be one of the more expensive ones just because of this art. So that's cool. Possibly a hit. Uh, why is it with me pulling the same full art oil event? Long list events. Okay, nothing else too special here. Cool though. Nice to get another Nazgul. Any pack with a Nazgul is a good pack. It's funny that something just like Nazgul or Reprieve is, you know, some of these commons, uncommons, or the Mirkwood Bats are just better than a lot of the mythics. Um, I feel like that's just awkward. All right. Gloin, Dwarf Emissary. Very nice. Yeah, I like this guy. I think he's decent. You do get treasures off of him. You can sack treasures to goad things. 
I think this guy's going to see some play along with Magda and some of the dwarf stuff that already goes on. He's he's nice. And just that you can sack him and or tap him and generate treasures with Magda's cool too. Huh, Legolas, Master Archer. I have not read this card yet. Let's read it together. Legolas, Master Archer. Three mana, one four. Reach. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, put a plus one plus one counter on Legolas. Uh, specifically this Legolas, not the other Legolas ones too. Alright, whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, Legolas deals damage equal to his power up to on up to one target creature. Okay, so just some buffing and arrow shooting shenanigans. That's kind of nice. All right, quick beam, upstart, int. All right, another tree folk. That's it. I'm. I have to make a tree folk deck. All right, I can't be the first. I'm sure, someone's got one. But are they good? Uh, I like to try these theme decks and see how they feel. I tried oozes. I don't think I'm gonna keep my ooze deck together. It's been very lackluster. Although it is very fun at times. Usually I just try to stomp the table. One person board wipes and everybody kills me. That's what's happened like every time I played that deck. So, But if someone doesn't board wipe, it crushes. Alright, Gimli, Mournful Avenger, Full Art Foil. Okay, that's, that's nice. You gotta love it. As indestructible as long as you have two more creatures under your... That, wait, that died under your control this turn. Okay, that's kind of weird. That's going to be hard to trigger. So he... Basically doesn't have indestructible unless you've got sack outlets and with tons of tokens. Uh, so he's a 3-2 for 3. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Gimli. When this resolves for the third time, he fights a creature you don't control. And at that point, he would have indestructible too. Okay, there's definitely some shenanigans you can do here. But you need like a lot of token and sack generation to get him going. Uh, I like it. That's flavorful. Another Gloin. Barog Lash, another Stern Scolding. I have not seen a single Reprieve. That's kind of odd. If we see it, we'll we'll talk about it. Oh, we got something kind of cool here. Okay, we got a Foil Bill. Hue of the Antwood. Now, oh, I read this and I, I face palmed. This card is, it seems really bad. Five mana sorcery, sack a bunch of lands, reveal cards, put lands and artifacts in of the cards revealed. But sack a bunch of lands, mythic? Come on. Just, that's a 10 cent mythic if I've ever seen one. No one wants to sack a bunch of lands uh, just to maybe get some lands. I guess the point of this is what you get like your, your giant artifact creatures in with this is the point. Your nine mana cost, 10 mana cost artifact bombs. But still... It could whiff, and you just sacked a bunch of lands, and that's game over for you. Just spells that potentially kill yourself are really risky, um, unless you're going to win the game. You know, there's like Doomsday decks, but they're very specific, and they do win on the spot. That doesn't win on the spot. That potentially gets you a big boy. Potentially. All right. Well, nothing too special there. A few more packs to go. Ah. I don't know what to say. What does Rudy say? Final thoughts about this time? Uh, Flower into the White Tree. Oh, this card. I kind of like this card. I think it's holding a couple bucks value, too. But uh, basically a little glorious anthem. Uh, except a little better. So, not bad. And a bunch of commons, uncommons. I don't know what my final thoughts are. I like the set overall. It's very flavorful. Not real happy with everything, but whoever is, so what, what are you going to do, right? Proto Baggins. Oh, we got Sting. That's cool. Uh, and we also have this rare I haven't looked at. Okay, you may cast spells as though they had flash this turn, draw a card. Okay, that's all right. But Sting's, Sting's pretty cool. Two to cast, two to equip. Uh, plus one, plus one, haste. At the beginning of each combat, untap equipped creature. That's the big deal. You know, a lot of these commanders that tap to activate, uh, this guy, this is pretty cool because you could do it during everybody's turn. You know, I'm thinking a lot in commander here because what else does anyone even play these days um, other than commander? No one plays paper standard. That's only on MTG Arena, basically. Uh, and uh, I mean that sarcastically. I'm sure there's some people that do. 
But this is a cool card. This is a cool commander card that fits with a lot of commanders that need to tap to do things. So that's my thoughts on that. I don't know. I feel like I've shared most of my thoughts throughout the video anyway. So I don't know what a whole lot of what else to say. I do like the lands. The lands are cool. Black Breath. Oh, another Sting. All right, we'll take it. That's yeah, cool. Um, hoping to get an Orcish Bowmaster. So there's finally a Reprieve. There it is. Finally. White kind of Counterspell. Return to Owner's Hand. Draw card. Not bad. That's like a, one of the more expensive cards in this set, too. I think it's like two or three bucks or something. Um, it's always weird talking about these prices because who knows what they're going to be priced at when you actually watch this, right? So don't don't take my price talk too literally. You, you never know. I'm just kind of, kind of analyzing whether this box was worth purchasing or not, I guess, is the, is the thing here. I'm just thinking out loud. All right, fire of something. Frodo, Sauron's Bane. That seems cool. I, I haven't even read this yet. One mana, one, two, okay. Pay two mana. If he's a citizen, he becomes a scout. That's a two, three lifelink. Okay, that's cool. Um, pay three black. If Frodo's a scout, he becomes a halfling with him. Whenever he deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game if the ring has tempted you four more times. Otherwise, the ring tempts you. Okay, that's that's cool. Um, whew, yeah. That art does not look like Frodo to me, but whatever. Cool card. All right, and uh, here we go. Okay, we got Fear, Fire, Foes, Sorcery. Damage can be prevented this turn. X damage, start creature, and one damage to each other creature with the same name. With the same controller. Each other creature with the same controller. Okay, so it just hits one creature for a lot and the rest of that player's stuff for one. That's, uh, that's not bad. Not bad. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Um, a lot of other little random things. <sighs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Appreciate you. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It does help me a lot. Same with the like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, peace out.